to hell for you. The Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase saw a lot of big announcements for gamers. The announcement showcasing Redfall, Starfield, and some other big titles, and also Diablo 4 new final playable class Necromancer revealed. Blizzard launched Diablo in January 1997, with the grim world of Sanctuary introducing gamers to a new type of action RPG that hooked many right away. From Deckard Kane's voice as Tristram to the exploration of the catacombs beneath the cathedral, role-playing in video games really took a leap forward. Diablo became Blizzard's second multi-game franchise, surpassing the company's wildest expectations, and now Diablo 4 has the chance to recapture its RPG sensibilities with expanded character customization. While Diablo and Diablo 2 managed to walk the line of introducing and refining hack and slash gameplay while retaining storytelling and character development, Diablo 3 was by far the biggest hit in the franchise, although much of it can be attributed to gaming marketing evolving over the years. Diablo 3 certainly made plenty of money for Blizzard, but it seems the company is now looking back to the original Diablo. While the predatory monetization of Diablo Immortal didn't give much to look forward to, the company's intentions have proven better with Diablo 4. Character customization in the game is richer and more extensive than ever, letting players design their class with beautiful details. A variety of hairstyles, skin tones, colors, jewelry, and markings, while Diablo 4's character creation options aren't as deep as other modern role-playing games, these options can still produce great-looking, personalized characters while maintaining the dark, medieval look Blizzard is aiming for. The new gameplay footage for Diablo 4, we get a closer look at a lot of the game's latest class and some details around the new PvP elements. Beginning with the Necromancer class in Diablo 4, the class mechanic for the Necromancer in Diablo 4 is called the Book of the Dead, it seems that players taking on this class will have a lot of customization in how they want to take on their enemies. They can summon three different types of skeletons, from the traditional undead warriors, to mages, to giant golems. Each of these three summons have three of their own specializations as well, so there seems to be a lot of potential for tweaking a necromancer to fit a certain playstyle. The necromancer has two resources. Essence and Corpses. Essence is the primary resource that recharges slowly over time. Essence can also be obtained using basic skills allowing players to cast their skills more often. Corpses are literally the leftover remains of fallen enemy. These remains can be used to summon minions or power other skill such as corpse explosion. There are three types of skeletal warriors the Diablo 4 Necromancer can summon. First the Skirmishers. A standard warrior with increased damage but reduced life. Second the Defenders. Durable shield bearers with 15% increased life. And the third final is Reapers. Equipped with a front-facing AoE spell and a powerful wind-up attack, Reapers trade high damage for low attack speed. Diablo 4 Necromancer class is a powerful spellcaster wielding blood, bone, and darkness with an endless horde of shambling undead at their disposal, Necromancer's most iconic abilities Corpse Explosion. Additional skills, such as Decompose, allow you to summon dead corpse to your side to fight. True power of Necromancer lies in their unique power to raise an army of the dead to do their bidding. The Diablo 4 Necromancer has access to the Book of the Dead, a menu that allows for more customization and control over your undead troops than ever before. There are a variety of minion types to summon and upgrade, as well as an additional ability to sacrifice your summons to make your Necromancer stronger. Curses are an essential part of any Necromancer's arsenal, and they're making a welcome return in Diablo 4. While we can't yet confirm whether the curses revealed so far will function exactly the same as they did in previous games. In terms of weapons, and other non-armor equipment, necromancers use swords, daggers, wands, focuses, shields, and class-specific scythes. The necromancer has four distinct, top-level playstyles with differing strengths and weaknesses. These playstyles are Bone, Darkness, Blood, and the Army. The first three are like different elemental magic styles. Bone is a physical form of damaging the enemy that also uses a lot of essence. Blizzard has brought back the Bone Spirit, which took a hiatus during Diablo 3. The skill allows the Necromancer to use all of their essence to power a spirit that seeks enemies and explodes upon them. Another skill that makes a return to Diablo is Bone Prison, which was used by the last boss in Diablo 2, Diablo himself, to surround players' town portals. In Diablo 4, 
Players can trap their enemies with this skill, which could be used in powerful combination with other skills and effects. Not only can it create a barrier around a player in the open world of Diablo 4, but it can also be used to block tight hallways or trap enemies inside area effects. The bone play style relies a lot on critical strikes, not only to add damage to the abilities but also to reduce skill cooldowns. Decompose is a skill that damages the opponent while regenerating the player's essence. It also generates corpses nearby. Another skill Darkness skill revealed is Blight, which summons an orb that deals damage on impact but more importantly creates an area that deals damage to enemies standing in it. This can be very effective against slow or immobile enemies, like an enemy trapped in a bone prison. Blood Magic provides damage skills that regenerate the Necromancer. Siphoning life from nearby enemies with Blood Surge creates an explosive blood nova that deals damage around the player. The more enemies players gather around them, the more they'll siphon and the more damage they'll be able to deal. This skill rewards playing a riskier playstyle which is enabled by higher hit point regeneration thanks to siphoning. The second blood skill is Blood Mist, which is a defensive skill that makes the Necromancer invulnerable while siphoning life from enemies. This bubble-like mechanic will likely be very handy in both PvE and PvP environments. We recommend Necromancer with a focus on intelligence to increase the damage of their curses and debuffs, as well as their summoning abilities. It is also a good idea to invest in skills that can generate essence, as this resource is used to fuel many of the Necromancer's abilities. Diablo 4 will release on June 6, 2023. As always thank you for watching.